Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and I had a question today, which is probably the eternal question of a lot of people considering Windows 11, and and of course the question is legitimate, it's a good question. What do I gain in getting Windows 11 installed rather than Windows 10? Well, and and you know, this is in wondering if it's much better and if you should go there or not. And here's the thing about this. it's There's not much to gain in terms of what your PC is going to do. What your computer does, it does on Windows 10 as well and will do it like Windows 11. Um, there's nothing that you do in Windows 11 that is not available in Windows 10. And so it turns more to what you want and if you want to have the latest, greatest features. Because yes, there are features that are on Windows 11 that are not on Windows 10. Now, that's a different phrase from there are things you can do on Windows 11 that you can't do on Windows 10. Because there's always you know, ways to do that. It's just that it's different. You won't have maybe the app like the uh, snip, the snipping tool with you know the OCR for recognizing text and pictures. Yeah, it's Windows 11 only. But there are other ways to do it in Windows 10 uh, with software. You know, it's, it's what I mean is yes, it adds features that you don't and maybe will never have on Windows 10 but not features that you can't have on Windows 10. You can have them just with something else. Uh, <clears throat> so it's more of a question of having the latest operating system. It's more of a question of having what I feel like being more modern operating system. I find the interface personally is more modern and more interesting. It's not perfect. It's far from being perfect. Um, I do find the settings more interesting in, in Windows 11. Um, you know, when I make videos, I often refer to my Windows 10 machine that I use to make videos too, and realize that as I'm using Windows 11, um, Windows 10 does start to feel old. Uh, just like Windows 10 made Windows 7 feel like an ancient thing. Windows 10 was such a modern system in its look and feel and the way it worked that that it just, you know, blew away Windows 7 on that side for sure. Windows 7 looked really old. And well, that difference is not as much. It's not a Windows 7 versus Windows 10 difference, but it's enough that as I'm using Windows 11 on most of my computers, I do feel when I go back to Windows 10 that yeah okay yeah it's 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 nice but it it lacks on some side of the the the, the look and feel that is more modern than Windows 11 has um, but it's still modern it's just that you know you get used to a system so you know is that enough for you to move on to Windows 11 that's up to you because that's where it is right now is if you're on Windows 10, you're fine on Windows 10, and I will not tell anyone that's on Windows 10, oh, you have to go to Windows 11. And I think that's more of an enthusiast thing. I always want the latest Windows. Not, a, not everybody wants the latest Windows. Actually, the majority of people don't want the latest Windows. They just want to be left alone with what they have so that it works. So uh, if I would put a... If you take the question, you know, is there anything that makes me or should make me move on to Windows 11? Um, the, the, the quick answer for most people would probably be mm, no. Um, the longer answer is, well, you know, if you want to have something that feels and looks a little more modern and so on and blah, blah, blah. That's it. That's where you see... You know, there's stagnation right now in Windows 11 in the numbers um, because Windows 11 doesn't have anything that 
people are like, oh, wow, I want this. People are more in like, well, my Windows 10 machine works and I don't know why I should go there. And add the fact that, you know, minimum requirements are um, are there to prevent a lot of people moving on. Uh, it's not moving. So, you know, will that wow factor and that, oh, yeah, you got to go to that new system, be there in Windows 12? Now, that's another question. Um, if you are using Windows 11, do you think moving from 10 to 11 is a good idea? If you're using Windows 10, what's preventing you from going to 11? And I'm not talking minimum requirements. If you are capable of going there, what is just making you stay put on Windows 10? If you want to answer that question, always nice to see your comments. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.